MAME, short for Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, is in my opinion, the greatest emulator ever created. After all, it carries within it an unprecedented amount of playable games, many of which came in the monstrous form of an arcade cabinet. Since then, it has continued to evolve, swallowing multiple gaming console systems and electronic devices in its wake, with no signs of slowing down. To this date, MAME is in its 204th version of being. Let that sink in for a moment. The insane amount of systems and games that can be held on this emulator led me to create this video so if you are just jumping into MAME for the first time, continue watching as I attempt to decode the emulator of all emulators. So you want to grab this emulator but are unsure of where to begin. No problem, I'm here to help. The first thing I think is of the utmost importance is a version of MAME. You see, every time a new version of MAME becomes available, the game that worked with MAME may require an update. This also applies to any BIOS or any additional files that may be needed to run a game as well. Now let's say you grabbed all the available ROMs for version 200 of MAME, and for whatever reason, you skipped updating your ROMs when version 201 came out. So you decide you wanted to update to 202. Each release of MAME comes with an update pack to ensure that your ROMs are in proper working order. This means that you would have to get any previous updates that you skipped over. Now, updating ROMs for MAME is not the same as updating the MAME emulator itself. Special programs like CLR Pro MAME were created as a way to keep your ROMs up to date. I have created a walkthrough of this program as it definitely can be a bit tricky if you're using it for the first time. This will be available shortly after I have uploaded this video. MAME also comes in different flavors. The original program was launched through a command line interface though nowadays you can start it like any regular application. At some point, a MAME version that utilized the Windows graphical interface became available. This came to be known as MAME UI, and is mainly designed for those who enjoy the Windows aesthetic. At some point, MAME got netplayed through a special plugin, and thus MAME++ was born. There are really too many to name, but I'm hoping at some point to look at each one in greater detail, so stay tuned for incoming videos. Now like most emulators, you're always going to find that certain versions of MAME run better with your hardware. This is more than likely caused by compatibility issues. With that being said, you may want to create a backup of both the version of your MAME emulator and the ROMs just in case things go awry. I have put a website in the description box below that details the history of updates for many of the game titles available, making it easier to look for updates for certain ROMs. This is especially helpful if you are trying to update from much older versions of MAME ROMs. Whether you are using a PC, a Raspberry Pi, or a Fire Stick TV, you always want to look and see what version of MAME you are downloading before you grab any games. It is very important to note that as powerful as MAME may be, there are other emulators out there that were created to emulate specific arcade hardware and can run games that MAME cannot at 100%, so keep this in mind. When it comes to the arcade ROMs in MAME, you will find that there are three general types of ROMs available, split, merged, and non-merged. Because arcades carried updates, clones, and regional versions, you can have several different ROMs for one game. This is often called a set, which also refers to split ROMs. Merge brings these sets of ROMs together into one file, which is used to save space. Most MAME emulators are designed to detect both split and merged ROMs. When it comes to using front ends, something I will cover later, split ROMs and non-merged ROMs are recommended. When dealing with split ROMs, you will have a parent ROM. This ROM in question will be required to run the set of ROMs available. Let's look at the Alien Storm set for this example. A quick look at the game files shows that we have six sets of ROMs. The first ROM titled A Storm is a parent ROM, which means it's not dependent on the other ROMs to run. The next ROM below, titled A Storm 3, is dependent on the first ROM and will not run without the parent A Storm ROM present. Now let's see these two sets operate in real time. The parent A Storm was originally a two player arcade cabinet, but A Storm 3 emulates the three player co op. I didn't mention non merged as I did not want to get them confused with the other types. These are sets that do not require the parent ROM to operate, but essentially work like a split set. Now I'm leaving out an important element of MAME, which is CHDs, as it can be used with other emulators, 
so I've decided to do a separate video which should be on its way shortly after this one. So hopefully this quick overview will help you on your journey. If you are just learning about emulators or you need help with certain aspects of emulation, be sure to subscribe and check out my playlist for additional details. For now, this is the core, your entertainment techie, signing out.